Hey guys, so real quick, I just wanted to show you how to fill out your social media plan every month because this comes very standard because everybody celebrates a little bit differently and I want you to be able to incorporate your releases and promotions into your social media plan. So the first thing we gotta do when we're looking at our social media plan, and this is just a good standard to have um, as you're, you're going through, make sure you're always including these things, kind of focus on one book a month on your social media so you have consistency and people actually know what you do and what you write. It's really hard to, um, you know, for people to remember what you're doing if they keep seeing something different all the time. So the first thing I want you to think about as you look at your month, um, as far as your social media plan goes, is do you have any releases coming up? Because I would like you to block out the week before your release to do like a countdown to release. Now, if you also have like a promotion, like a free day or something like that, then you can have, <laughs> then you can have um, a countdown to your freebie, uh, your free novel or your free ebook or whatever. So either way, do a countdown if you can um, to your release or to your promotion so that people know about it. Five days is perfect so that it, it builds a sense of timeliness and that people don't forget. A lot of people think you're talking about your novel too much, but then if you ask people who know you, they'll say that you never talk about your novel, um, nine cases out of 10. So fill out any days that are releases first and or promotions. And then I want you to look at the holidays or the actually the birthdays. Um, do you have a birthday maybe that is important to you? then go ahead and write that in B-Day of Spouse, for example. You know, I like to recognize the people in my life who support my writing career. So if their birthday is coming up, I'm going to give them a shout out and say, hey, you know, guys, if it wasn't for my wonderful husband, I wouldn't be able to do this. You know, it really does take a team. It takes a community and a, a system of support to do everything that we do. So go ahead and give shout outs to the people who are important to you on their birthday. Now, if you are um, using a pen name to keep your, um, to maintain your anonymity, then you don't have to, you, you know, put your spouse out there or anything like that. But it's just a good rule of thumb. Go through birthdays first, birthdays, anniversaries. Even if you're using a pen name, you don't have to put your little picture there, but you can say, it's my anniversary and it's a really important day for me. So special days first, and then look at the holidays that you celebrate. So what holidays um, or federal observances are important for you in the coming month? And then of course, mark those out. So, um, and then of course, after you do that, go to national days. It's really cool. There's all, all these different days that will actually help us plan our promotions that are like national read a book day or a national author day or writer day or poet day. There's so many different national days. And if you just Google um, national days 2018, you'll come up with this, you'll get these different calendars, these sites that have huge lists of all the different national days and really just pick one or two uh, or really one a week that appeals to you that you would like to say, hey guys, join me in celebrating National Chocolate Day because it's my writer fuel <laughs> or something like that. So once you have these different days, right, uh, you know, marked out as, you know, National Chocolate Day, and this is just an example, um, anniversary, then, um, you know, uh, my birthday or whatever you have going on. I can't think off the top of my head what <laughs> holidays there are in January, but again, this is just an example. Then once you have these knocked out, you can scratch off what is there and then fill in, um, go ahead and start creating your content based on this outline here. This is going to give you a great bit of diverse content that allows you to um, get to know your reader better, for them to get to know you and uh, you know attract the your ideal readers not just put random stuff out there about your life um i you know there are different authors we follow on social media but if they never talk about their books not really inclined to buy them so here we go taglines is like your hook or your tagline for your book or your series um any kind of cool thing you think of that summarizes um, your story in a, in a really attractive way um, behind the scenes photos, this is your lifestyle. And I ask that you limit that to once a week. Really, once a week is ideal for, you know, hey, here's my word count, or I'm taking a day off to rejuvenate, or, you know, whatever behind the scenes fun stuff is going on. 
Wednesday an excerpt from the novel that you're focused or the, the work that you're focusing on promoting that month. So get an excerpt. Um, reviews, that should be pretty self-explanatory. And this, this review that you're posting to social media, put it on a beautiful graphic and you don't have to post the whole thing. You can take your favorite one or two lines and put the rest in the caption. Um, but it's really easy to make it beautiful if you just take one to two lines and put it on a great graphic, put the rest in the caption. And this doesn't have to be stuff that's just on Amazon or Goodreads. These can be any reviews that you've received. Um, don't make things up, be honest. But if you receive reviews from other people who have messaged you and said, you know, I really loved your book because of this, this, and this, you say, oh, well, I would love to share that with people. If they allow you to share that with people, then absolutely put it on a graphic. So this isn't the review system of another network. This is sharing um, social proofs, sharing what your books um, have, uh, how your books have affected other readers. So promo, this can be like a direct promo. So you're saying, hey guys, if you haven't um, uh, purchased this book yet, or, or you know, you can actually say, hey, here's my cover and follow the link in my bio, or you know, click this link if you're on Facebook, click this link to check out more reviews from my award-winning novel, so whatever the title is, go ahead and, and be a little more direct about that. You can still say, I would encourage you to say, go check out the, um, the, the, the reviews here or the synopsis or what have you. I'd actually include your synopsis, a brief synopsis inside of your um, caption if you can. So in any reviews you want, you can say, check out more reviews at the link in my bio or um, in the caption, uh, you know, at this link. Click this link to check out more, the, and then it can go to your Amazon page. But otherwise, you don't wanna necessarily link to your Amazon page every single day. Cause that's just a kind of sell, 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 and every time you're like, buy my book, buy my book, buy my book, people get really wore out from that. Now, Saturday's reader question. Um, this is like, you know, what are you reading this month? When's the last time you reviewed a book? What is your favorite mystery or, you know, stick to your genre, but that's just an example. You know, who's your favorite, all-time all favorite author, mystery author, you know, genre, stick to your genre, but use that. And then we go over here to quotes. So quotes can be anything that inspires you, um, anything about reading, because again, we want to appeal to readers, not just writers or other writers, unless that is your target audience, then of course, talk about writing and the writing process and inspiring writers. But if you're you know, writing genre fiction or any kind of thing that you really wanna to appeal to readers, um, people who love to read and not just other authors, pick quotes that you think they would enjoy. So don't make your channel just all about you. Make it a place where they can enjoy coming to be entertained. And so do that with inspiring quotes or fun quotes or humorous quotes that you think they would enjoy from yourself, from other influencers, from uh, you know, authors, whoever, whatever um, fun quotes. You, know, you can find so many quotes everywhere. So anyway, then we go back through and then um, you know, really about a three month library of these in one per book um, or you can do depending on how many books you have out now if you have three books out then you should definitely have more in your library for each book but build up a library of these and you don't have to do it all at once or all ahead of time try to stay at least a week ahead it's really nice when you're two weeks ahead of your content and you have all this stuff scheduled out um, and some people are really ahead of the game and get a month ahead, which feels so good because then there's no pressure to post every day. You're just ahead and you can just enjoy life and connect with your readers and your followers um, and turn those followers into readers because you're actually engaging with them and you don't feel pressured when you are on social media. All right, guys, I really hope this helped to see how you can use the social media plan. It's not just something that you just do this stuff every day. I want you to fill in those special days. I want you to fill in the holidays that are important to you. Again, not everybody observes the same kinds of things uh, or holidays. Some people don't observe holidays at all. So I want you to be able to um, observe what's important to you and pick out fun national days, you know, no more than once a week that you really love and you want to share with your readers. All right, guys, I will see you in another video.